You know, a lot of organizations are moving to Office 365 and asking themselves, do I still need to back up my data? Well, the answer to that, my friend, is yes. No organization wants to be caught with their pants down when an outage occurs. So with that in mind, here are four smart steps for creating an Office 365 backup strategy. Number one, define your policies and requirements. You know, the questions are simple, but they need to be asked and answered. For example, how frequently should we back up our data? How fast do we need to be able to back up our data and restore it? How long do you want to keep our backup content, regardless if it's Exchange, SharePoint, or OneDrive? What kind of content do we want to back up? And what level of object granularity do we want to be able to restore? Number two, identify how these policies apply to Office 365 data capabilities. See, the reality is that most organizations are going to want to enhance the native Office 365 backup capabilities in order to restore data that has been deleted for more than 30 days or to get deleted data restored as quickly as possible. You know, when you're in IT, you know, no business user ever asks for a file to be restored sometime in the next few days. What do they ask? I want it now. Number three, identify third-party solutions to meet your business requirements. Cloud backup is not a simple black or white decision. There's different approaches and platforms can have a dramatic impact on your backup and restoration capabilities. Make sure you understand the difference in the true cost of service from SaaS versus on-premises backup offerings. Also, think about regulatory compliance and data sovereignty needs. You'll also want to make sure that your backup vendor can restore Office 365 Group's data and advanced workloads, and they aren't just exporting Exchange Online to a PSD file. Number four, monitor and verify. After backing up your data, it's crucial to continue monitoring via dashboards, logs, and regularly scheduled tests to ensure everything is working properly. You should have a regular cadence, monthly, quarterly, or semi-annual test as well. For more details such as what tests to perform when, check out my colleague Robert Molso post on our blog, and you can see more about our Office 365 backup offerings on our website. Till the next time, friends.